Mm-mm. Is he... No chance he dies, but... Hub kind of angst. What is up everybody welcome back to the channel another x-men 97 reaction and I have been enjoying this series from start to finish episode one through four it's been phenomenal I haven't remembered everything so a lot of this has been a refresher and you guys in the comment section have been uh, reminding me and refreshing me on things which I appreciate but as far as nostalgia and just even just the theme music seeing new characters old characters and when that theme music hits I'm right back to 1991 or 94 97 those years you know what i'm saying but if i didn't think it would annoy the heck out of y'all i would be eating my apple jacks pop tarts and all those 90s goodies drinking my tang uh but i'm gonna hold off for now unless y'all say otherwise i don't mind partaking but nonetheless last episode just to recap real quickly at the end of it storm obviously we had like that i don't know if it was like a vision a vision or a, a nightmare we had that hawk owl uh it, it called itself the adversary now i don't know exactly what that means or who that is I, i'm imagining that's more of a tie to uh forge than storm but i don't know that uh so i have no clue what to expect i'm just gonna enjoy it as i have these last few episodes i've been hearing great things i'm a little behind on this uh reaction uh, but i've heard great things about the episode and based on the first four i don't see that changing so i'm looking forward to it but uh as we get into this episode i'm looking at the thumbnail and i see nightcrawler now that's my boy i know x2 i know that's not everybody's favorite movie but uh i can't wait to see him uh, i don't know how he comes into the fold i hope we see a little bit more from sunspot we've been seeing him kind of activate his powers but he hasn't had the courage to use it yet or the the want to use it yet uh so i don't know when that'll happen but we got rogue and gambit in this thumbnail and I, I i said it last reaction but my heart is breaking for uh gambit especially with this whole relationship between magneto and rogue uh and he's playing it cool but uh, every time i see it i can't help but hurt for him uh so i hope there's some type of redemption maybe rogue comes to her senses i have no clue we're gonna get into this episode but we're gonna stop wasting time we're gonna get hyped by this theme song and we're gonna get into episode five let's do it you are your son nathan it's a techno organic virus strain okay and the virus is already spreading rapidly are right, we getting a call back to sinister and cable so we must be getting a something my next life will be mine take care gene Call me Madeline Pryor. Charles Xavier. It's gonna take me a minute to decipher which one is which between Madeline and Jean. <laughs> I know I'm gonna get confused. And that my kind have the right to live in it. We will begin talks with Leech. Admit we saw him in the first episode, no? All right, they, they've been good about these intros. Let's see if they add anything new in. Uh... Ooh, okay. There's a, a cable and apocalypse. That's new. I don't think that was in the last ones. Ooh, who, who's the, I feel like, a, ooh, Nightcrawler, nice, they got him in there. Uh, but the girl that just got, like, knocked out and had the, the eye patch, I feel like I've seen her before. Was it caused by atomic testing? Trish Tilby, that's, uh, is it nature herself Beast the girlfriend, right? Like, the I don't know if they, race. boyfriend and girlfriend, but they had a thing. Some call them monsters, but all over the planet, they are known as mutants. We prefer to see it as a world that misunderstands us. For many of the X-Men, Xavier's school is the Were only those night goggles for, <laughs> for Cyclops? I guess that makes sense. I didn't think about it. But that sense of belonging goes worldwide today, as the UN formally admits the mutant nation of Genosha. Ooh. I feel like I've heard, heard something about this as far as, like, Mag Magneto. Doesn't he, like, build a, a group? Or console or something. Console? Oh, <laughs> damn. They got statues at this place? Why didn't we come here sooner? <laughs> oh, God. Oh, Pixie. Uh, I I've seen them. I don't know much about them, but Pixie and Leech. I think uh, Nature. 
Yeah, I definitely got to brush up on all the, but uh, hey, I'm, I'm noticing people, so that's a good thing. I definitely did a little bit of research after I, I, I forgot so much in the last episodes. Is that, that's Madeline, I think. My friends, well, would you look at you, girl. A lot of smiles at the mansion when we heard Madeline Pryor scored a top spot nice. among Genosha's brass. The interim council wanted an X-Man. Council, Luckily, okay. you guys could spare a gene. Hush, madam. <laughs> Two always better than one, and far better than so, three. Most time. I think Magneto's part of the ga the council too, and Rogue. I don't think Gambit though. I confess, the Master of Magnetism was surprised to receive an invite bearing the United Nations seal. Yeah, I hear it's called the future. <laughs> Why is she so tired and all? I feel like she might be up to something. So where the heck does that leave us? <laughs> okay, <laughs> my boy, nice. <laughs> Nice. Kurt I just love his power. <laughs> he shall play tourist as the council speaks with Magneto. Third. Awesome. The voice is on point. Ah, oh, scimitar tongue gambit. <laughs> you remain as always. We have much to discuss since our gothic adventure amid the Alps. Come. It do kind of look like you wearing G string though. Uh, I gotta go back to uh, Magneto is freaking me out a little bit because he keeps saying stuff in the third person and make me s feel like he ain't really good. He evil, evil. <laughs> oh my, it's just like he said it'd be. Who? The professor? Uh, yeah, sure. Mm -hmm. Always used to say we'd have a place all our own one day. More than a place. I thought he was about to take oh. that edge. That is charging pretty high rent. Ten dollars? God you. dang. <laughs> I can't live there. That's New York prices right there. Like, why is Magneto suddenly mutant MVP? Facts. Ooh. Uh, uh, multiple man. All <laughs> Exodus. I don't know the girl, though. Are they, are they both known as Exodus? I, I just remember him. I feel like I've seen her too with the, the earrings. The poker face is very poor. Hey, mind your beeswax, Fogal. Didn't go ring. <laughs> this is Ooh. awesome because we're getting like these called, or I guess you could call them like Easter eggs, but, and I don't even know if they'll be like pivotal parts of the story, but it's awesome to see them. Life is violins and close ups. I blame soap operas. Just marry Isabelle and be done. We ain't marrying her. No. Scoundrels like me, <laughs> we don't get no white picket reward. We too busy for love. Too mm. busy sin. There is no love without sin. The love is best measured in what we forgive. Mm hmm Stupidity's measured that way too. <laughs> well, if being an X-Man teaches anything, Miss Tilby, it's to expect the unexpected. I always kept that in mind as field leader. Hey, uh, those shades are weird out the light. Can you take them off? Uh, I, yeah, sure. Can't. Sorry. You ain't do your research. So, uh, I wanted to reassure him. I wanted to show her. Nothing had changed. She was still the hothead who knocked mm -hmm. my books out of my hand when I ran into her on the first day of school. <laughs> but... I said I feel bad for Gambit, but Wolverine been getting beat up emotionally too. <laughs> Jean was using the power of the Phoenix to block my optic blasts. Mm. And we could see each other's eyes. They anchored me. His eyes made me stay. Uh, I imagine this is all from the comic books. You guys have to let me know, but I think it's from the the uh, Dark Phoenix saga that you guys have mentioned. Yet how many sunrises your eyes have seen? The only ever seen one of you, Red. Huh. Just the one. Logan, I I'm... You're Jean Grey. He's Scott Summers. Those are the rules. You just forgot him for a sec. Enough said. Now go talk to that overgrown boy scout. Gene. Good on you, Wolverine. I was just talking shit about you, but golly. Come on, Gene. You're ungrateful. We fight, risk our lives for you. Evil mutants, robots, crazy aliens. <laughs> I gave him up. I gave him up because you can't say thank you. Because I have to stomach your questions and prove that I'm a person. I lie because the truth is we're nothing like you. Thank God, because it's the only reason you people are still alive. 
uh, everybody is on edge today. Is it, I, I don't. I, I was about to question whether that was like a real conversation or a dream. This is definitely We're council stuff. Uh, but Sebastian, I forget their names. We need to be thinking about how to speak. Oh, there's the girl from the intro with the eye patch. He and my ex Ben. How? We need a handsome jawline that begs trust and respect. A poster Emma. child. Emma. Nice. Whose charitable idea was it to let a human be on the council? Were no others available to weep over some Oh, human Moira. Moira's a fierce ally nice. to mutants. And we all agreed on a title of Chancellor. Don't they create like a new nation? But if Charles trusts you with his eggs, man, he trusts you with this. We were at a bar in Germany when he first mentioned his dream. Hmm. I laughed at him. It's one of the best ideas, come Or the worst. We thought we'd perish before seeing the day when humanity accepted our people. Like Moses in the Promised Land. We would carry the dream, but never live it. Listen to that music kicking up and trying to hit all the feels. <laughs> I'll see you, Magneto. I ought to knock you from here to the North Pole. You think making me your queen means we're getting back together? It is a political calculation, Rogue. Oh, so this is how they end up joining... Or you guys will have to let me know if this is different from the comics, how it was originated. Loving you makes broken men whole, so that even as you deny us, our heartache is not in vain. We would be lucky to have you. This is some bullshit. Excuse my French. <laughs> Sometimes you just have to let go. There are some things worth holding on to. Did you just kiss Wolverine? Get up on my face. <laughs> I can't see color, but up here, I see these big brown eyes and this wild rust colored hair. The hell did they take that photo? She it all done up. <laughs> I know that ain't after birth. Don't tell me you can explain. Jeez. If you'll excuse us, Madeline. Damn, wrong, I was about Brian. to say, if she really just kissed him, it's dirty. Sorry. Mine just drifted a moment. Mine drift indeed. Communicating via psychic Did she see all that? Out. How long has it been happening? Uh, a month, maybe. I, I was checking in after she moved overseas, but we Go. ended up... Go to Genosha, be with my clone. Oh my oh, goodness, yeah. that's how what that happened. Saw... She's the mother of my son. That's... The one thing I can be certain about right now. Do you hmm. love her? I love both of you. Whole galaxies beckoned me, but I turned my back for you. Sinister cuts out a part of me and you love it? That wasn't love in there. It's ego. The music's mm -hmm. changing and you need a chair. Leader, father, husband. And you? You don't trust your memories. Do you even love me? My love for you is the one thing I remember amid this pain and insanity. So how you just kiss Wolverine? Do you love me, Jean? Or am I just a lovely memory? But damn, this is this Jean. that was a real argument. <laughs> that shit was legit. Uh who's that? It's like, yeah, man, okay. I see how you clean up, but that love triangle took a turn. I thought it was going to be Cyclops, Jean, and uh, Wolverine. It ended up being Cyclops and two Jeans. Lucky hell. My evil mother was helping me with my powers. Hmm. Said she knew a fella who could help. An associate. The man seemed nice enough. Seemed to want to help. That looks like the apocalypse arm a little bit. He even had plans too, Remy. Mutant art, fashion, dance. He showed me that being a mutant wasn't just straight from the Titanic. <laughs> wow. Something more. And when we realized that his electromagnetic powers protected him from my touch, other things started happening. Gambit don't want to hear this. But you gonna accept his offer? If Genosha's shown us anything, it's that we don't need to be afraid of change. And if I can play a bigger role in bettering the world, well, that's the whole reason I became an X-Man. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to repeat one more time. This is not a children's cartoon. <laughs> you light up everything you touch, but never me. Damn. That shit hit hard. That hit me. Deeper than skin, Shia. Not this. I made you that fool. Oh, your heart, heart, man. Damn, it always knows the odds. That it? 
in this game you do. Till then, we be friends, more and me. Just friends. That hurt. But what is that? What what was that? I just saw like a whole like shadow or face. Did you guys see that too? <laughs> or was that just me? I don't know what that it looked like an alien or something. Oh, who was that? <laughs> I feel like I've seen him too. I don't know his name, but it looks familiar. Assemble the council. We need to talk. Whatever is the matter, that's, Dr. Cooper. That's, that's gotta be, uh, mystique. It's gotta be, man. I just have a feeling. Don't allow a terrorist to be their leader. Yet so many allow their leaders to be terrorists. Mm. <laughs> There's another Magneto one-liner. <laughs> Looks like a yes to me. Oh. Damn. See, all, the, all, this, all this extra shit ain't even necessary. <laughs> He's just trying to make him mad at this point. Patty. Oh, was that, was that Archangel? I just saw the long hair and the wings. That's gotta be him. I don't like it. I, I don't like it. <laughs> I, I... <laughs> They're getting down. I mean, they got chemistry, but I I'm, I'm team Gambit. Both y'all can kick rocks. <laughs> I stand firm in that damn. Turn it off. The music. Jesus. What is it? Ooh. There was a a lot that just happened there. I don't know what that was. Thanks for the dance, sugar. But Remy was right. Some things are deeper than skin. That's a no? You can't do all that in front of the, 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 the Remy and go back to him. Get the hell up out of here. <laughs> Turn off. The music. Get everybody out. Cable, he's back already. <laughs> What's going down right now? He looks so bad. He looks so badass. Have to get everyone out. Now. He's coming. Who's coming? Cable, what's going on? Bodies lying. What? No. no. Not again. The black of us? Oh, he couldn't stop. Whatever it is. No, please don't end. Please. I survived. Please don't end. He got to see her. So sorry, Mom. What? What? What just happened? <laughs> Obviously, shit just got wrecked. Genosha is getting everybody in Genosha is getting slaughtered, and all these people are. Ooh. Get to the gardens! Hurry! Oh, get to the gardens! That it is the, there's no, no escape in this. Oh, good, good save. That's why he's my boy. Clutch, clutch. Where are these dudes just standing here? What are y'all doing? They like the p people playing the. Is he dead? I was gonna say they remind me of the people playing the instruments on the Titanic. There's a lot of references to the Titanic in this episode. <laughs> trying to evacuate folks now, but the Morlocks. Are all these people they stuck in the bay? Promise was made. Are all these human mutants? Ooh. Uh, there's. Uh, I know I saw something about this too. That that thing, that little creature, uh, extermination, like a comic name or something. It's got to be something like that. I think it's related, but I don't know much about it. Listen to the theme music kicking in. Rogue clears a path for Gambit to the Morlocks. Save as many as you can. We shall not live our days wondering if we could have saved more. It's time to give. <laughs> it's time to get busy. Okay. <laughs> He's on the motorcycle. That's, that's dope. Left. Then how about we I love the switch up on the music. Fire, fire, let's, let's go. I, I love seeing Gambit kick ass. He's, he doesn't have the best power, but the frisbee and them damn cards, I love it. 
best episode. Best episode so far. Animation, every oh, 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 oh. I, I don't like Magneto, but every time he's in action, he looks like a damn beast. <laughs> damn. 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 Not the statue. Move the fuck away. <laughs> this dude just do a damn train with one punch. <laughs> he is whipping that train like battle ropes. You just located. Oh no. <laughs> oh, that's fire. That is fire. I knew it was gonna kick in at some point. Bonsoir, mes amis. Now kindly follow me. Gambit out here showing off this episode. I love it. Omega threat detected. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Uh-oh. Shit about to get wrecked. Disney is not holding back on the blood. There was a whole lot of it in this episode. No! Too dangerous, Jeff! Y'all gotta get the hell out of Dodge. You're trying to protect us, bro! Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Does he... No chance he dies, but... Hub kinda axed. It's <laughs> going along with the beat. I don't know what the outcome of that would have been, but... Was that the creator, the writer of the show? With the, the blonde hair? Nice. Nice. No, 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 that... I don't, I don't think he can survive that. Mutant intruder neutralized. The name's Gary. <laughs> on a knee. Sorry. Sorry. Frag his shit. What the hell is this machine? How is it this powerful? Can he heal himself? Remember. Like Carterizer. Wait, yep. You noticed the wrong damn Omega threat, bitch. How many, damn it? To reiterate for those just returning to us, regardless of your stance on recent world events, oh my. the images you are about to see oh. may be disturbing. This is the, the vision that Jean, Madeline, one of them saw when she was using the helmet for the interrogation. This is it? That's the end of the episode, I, isn't it? I can't feel you. Oh, God. I was about to say, if they came in with that damn hype-ass music at the end of this episode, I was about to punch my damn computer screen no matter how much I love it. Is there in credit scene? I gotta see. I don't think there is. I doubt it. There hasn't been, and I don't think there will be. They already set the tone with the early episodes, but... Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. That was the best episode, probably by far, across the board. It's all been great in these first four episodes, but voice acting, uh, plot, uh, the Easter eggs or the, the cameos, I guess we saw. Uh, the stakes in this episode, the blood, the violence, the action, the feel good in the early half of the episode. And that shifted quickly as soon as we got into the whole Cyclops, Gene and Gene, Madeline and Gene, uh, Rogue, Magneto, Gambit. 
this was a, a, we, we got cable for a sneak peek coming back and trying to save them that was awesome to see i don't i don't know nearly as much about him as i should but that got me hyped uh and i'm gonna have to go back and rewatch this thing because there was glimpses and quick things that i feel like they showed but i didn't i wasn't able to make it out fast enough like there was a a portion in the episode where the sand made like a figure and I couldn't tell what that was there there was something in a space it looked like an image of like an alien it looked like uh Omega Head I don't know what his name from the cartoon you guys might know who I'm talking about um but yes the Genosha being torn to shreds by this uh creature sentinel apocalyptic I, I don't i don't know what it is and where it comes from who created it uh what its source is uh but it was epic and it wrecked shit uh so i i, I don't know if we'll expand upon that if we'll see more of them uh but i do look forward to hearing more about that or seeing more about that uh every this is a 10 out of 10 you sometimes I'll go off the Richter scale and say like a, a hundred, but I'm sticking to a, a set score range, and this is easily a ten out of ten. The music in this episode was phenomenal. Like I said, the voice acting was phenomenal. I gotta scroll the timeline. Um, yeah, man. The, hold on, give me one second while I recover, uh, and find something to talk about. Yeah. So at the beginning, of the, we didn't get any of sinister. Uh, they gave like a quick snippet of him in the beginning um, and right off the bat we got cable so I, I, I don't know I'll, I'll have to go back and think about it or correlate things to each other but uh, we got cable in the intro of this one and then we got him later in this episode usually it's like the, the intro or the like previously on X-Men that gives the prerequisite for what we're going to see in the episode um, so we saw baby Nathan and then we saw obviously cable in the intro itself so i wonder if he'll stay in there um until we we're not gonna see him or something happens to him i have no clue and, and we saw cable but we didn't see um why am I blank on his name bishop um so i wonder what that's about uh if something happened to him or if he just couldn't make the trip back with uh with cable not enough room uh or not enough capacity, I don't know. Um, and then, hold on, let's see if we could. Damn, I hate how it does that. Okay, so the 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 chick with the the uh, the eye patch. I saw her in the intro, and then we saw her later in the episode. Uh, I don't know if she's pivotal or not, but I, I just recognize her. Let me know what her name is, because I do want to know more about her. Uh, Beast and uh, Tisby, Tisby, Til, Til, Tilby, something like that. Um, I know a little bit about them, but not much. And I think I don't know if they uh, had any sort of like ongoing relationship or if they were just like uh, flirty uh, in the comics or the previous series. But I do know a little bit about them. Um, the cameos were great. The obviously Pixie, I got up on my screen now here uh, with Glob. Um, and then Leech, obviously, uh, a quick, uh, in this screenshot, Nature, I think her name is the, the, like, chick with the, the antlers and kind of dirty, uh, reminds me of Keyleth from, uh, Legend of Vox Machina, um, but that was awesome to see, and then, uh, I, I don't know the full story behind the, the council, so, um, and I don't know if it's all these same people as in the comics or if they change it a little bit. But obviously you got and I think Rogue is a part of it. But in this episode, I think she declined. I was a, that's what it sounded like. She sided with Gambit. She she played it like she was going to say yes. And then kind of played both sides and rubbed it in Gambit's face. And then that the nerd. I'm not going to get into that. But I think it's Gambit. Uh, or excuse me, Rogue. Magneto. Sebastian, Madeline, Moira, Nightcrawler, and the other dude with the like the flowing hair that was sitting next to Moira. I think they're a couple or something, but I don't know. Or married, maybe even. Um, Nightcrawler was awesome to see. 
uh, it's always fun seeing him. I love like his, uh, his like, his faith, like the, like uh, that doesn't make me love his character, but I like that he has that aspect to make him different from uh, a lot of the other X Men. Um, and I wonder if anything that he has to do with like back ties or will correlate to what we saw with Forge in the previous episode and the adversary. I wonder if that crosses paths in any way. Um, but he he might have died <laughs> in this episode. The, a lot of mutants died. I don't know the exact number, the, the body count, uh, but we lost a lot of people. And I'm pretty sure I'm, I'm, I'm about 99% positive that that is exactly what I questioned and saw or Madeline saw when she put on the helmet to do that ter interrogation in the first episode, I believe. First or second episode. Whew, this was an episode, man. Um, the, the whole documentary style interview thing, that was cool to see. Um, like even just the filter over the screen, I love things like that and the, the different aspect ratio. Uh, and then Scott, this was a deep, deep episode for everybody, but Scott stepped out of character a little, everybody, I guess. Scott stepped out of character. Gene stepped out of character. Rogue, I could say, no, nah, that might be her character. <laughs> Gambit. Yeah, I'd say Scott and and Gene for sure. Um, and they got hot and heavy in, in terms of like getting at it, getting into it. Obviously, you had the situation with her kissing Wolverine. You had the situation with him kissing Madeline. Uh, like telepathically, uh, I think is what happened. I, I don't know. Uh, mutants, it's going to confuse things. Uh, but I, I love the dynamic of this show uh, from the standpoint of mutants getting accepted by the UN, um, them retreating to Genosha and having, especially Magneto, like this, this superior level of respect from all the mutants because of what they've done for them. And then all for all of it to come crash and burn and be destroyed all in the span of, if you tie in, I guess, episode two, because that's what kind of initiated it to episode five. Three episodes is all they got to be happy. Uh, and I have no clue. Obviously, you got mutants on one side who are going to who weren't a part of this. Maybe they're still back home uh, in the States. I don't know what to call it, but yeah, I guess the States because they mentioned New Mexico. Uh, but you got the mutants back home who are going to look in on this and say, what a tragedy. Who can we trust? Are, are they going to blame the, the humans? Are they going to say you never should have left here in the first place? You should have made things work. And then you, you got the, the, the humans who are going to be on two sides of the spectrum, whether they say good riddance. Uh, whether they say glad it wasn't us, glad uh, that was going to happen at some point, glad we weren't a part of it. Uh, there's a, there, going into this episode, there was already so much going on in uh, so many plot lines, storylines. And that's just going to continue from here. It gets deeper and deeper. Um, and shout out, I think, you guys will have to let me know, I think I saw the cameo of the writer. I don't think he's even with the series anymore because of some things that went, went on in the background. Uh, but I'm pretty sure, like, at the end of the episode with the earring, the chain, the the blonde hair, I think that was him. Uh, you guys will have to let me know. You know better than me. Um, but, yeah, this whole council thing, I'm, I'm looking forward to. I don't, I don't, I don't know if that's just short-lived. I don't know how many people survived. So, all that is up in the air, and we'll have to wait until next episode, episode to see what comes of that. Um, as much as I hate it, the relationship between Rogue and Magneto, I get it. So I'm I'm not like poo pooing it, uh, but it it's hard to watch when you root for her and Gambit, I guess, uh, and Magneto just being a bad guy, I guess. Um, so she's got that connection, and then obviously they can actually physically touch, so that plays a part, um, and you get it from her standpoint too. So 
uh, that makes it harder, but uh, I just don't like it. It just feels dirty. I can't, <laughs> I can't get behind it. Uh, and then you had some deep moments with uh, Scott and Gene as far as discussions, talks, who you really loved, and the, the going back and forth. That argument was real. They, they did a great job. Again, with the not only the storytelling, but the writing uh, to make especially this is pivotal in cartoons. Since they are animated, sometimes there there's a high possibility that you won't take them seriously. Um, but when the, the writing is on point, like it has been in these first episodes, that gives great uh, not respect. Um, kudos or props to the show in, in terms of uh, people from the outside looking in actually respecting uh, storylines and plot um, and, and even actors and voice actors in general so um, I'm, I'm glad that this hasn't just been thrown together and they've given a lot of time it seems like to uh, the dialogue alone because uh, uh, even in these episodes you get some heavy snippets of action, especially in this one, at the end of the episode. But leading up to that, in a lot of these uh, first ones, it's been primarily dialogue. And it's carried the show uh, along with nostalgia. So um, I I'm really happy about what they've done there. Dialogue between Gambit and Rogue was great. Uh, again, cameos at the the ball for all the mutants was awesome to see. The music has been on point, so I thoroughly enjoy that. Um, the the moment, and it, it was already, like, the stakes already felt heavy, and there was already levity and gravity to the situation, and then you get the, the music drops, and it gets even more serious when Cable comes running, and you know something's going down. Uh, just with the look on his face, he's all armored up and he looks like, uh, I don't know if you guys have another 90s movie. I think it's called Toy Soldiers, but he reminds me of that like main action figure. Um, and that just made me feel even more attached to him. So I'm looking forward to seeing what more he has to offer and how badass he actually is when he's able to stay like I see on his um, like forearm. He's got like this little gadget, uh, blue thing i don't know if that's what is capable of bringing him back and forth um for a specific amount of time but uh i, I can't wait to learn more about him the the green eyes um in this creature i said extermination i want to say it's the, the comic is called extermination um and i think it's directly tied to that creature and the destruction of genosha um Correct me if I'm wrong. Tell me if I'm right. But um, I think that's what that was. Uh, obviously, we got the destruction of Genosha. But if that's the exact comic that I'm referring to or thinking of, uh, let me know. Um, yeah, we got we had a bunch of mutants falling out. Uh, some of them had their eyes open. You can still see people like their their eyes didn't white over. So I'm not sure if they're dead. Um, especially the chick with the eye patch that we were checking for the pulse of Nightcrawler. I don't know if he's gone. Uh, for sure, Gambit was a beast in this episode. He was on his motorcycle. He was throwing cards. He was doing everything. And then that ultra blast at like the end of the episode, I, I don't know that I've seen him that epic before. Uh, but that was awesome to see. I love characters that don't always, especially when he was getting beat up emotionally like in the first few episodes. And then you see them show out and kind of show their worth uh, to the team. Uh, that felt good to see. So, uh, and I know it felt good for him to just let out all that frustration. Leech has getting, been getting a lot of screen time. I wonder what that's about. I don't know, like, his role uh, in the future. or Maybe he has ties to Cable in the future. Uh, I, I don't know what that's about. Magneto did his thing, too. He was in that little uh, magnetic field bubble. Uh, that was awesome to see. Uh, no, it, the gambit's gone, man. I think, I, I think he's gone. Uh, and a majority of these X-Men are gone. Uh, and kudos to them for <laughs> reading the room and bringing, taking us out of the episode on like that somber music. Uh, and we weaved like the X-Men theme throughout that whole battle, but it was so played down and, match the tone so well 
on all cylinders this show is hitting and i love it i love every second i really needed my pop tarts and apple jacks for this one but uh i probably would have missed out on some details <laughs> if i was looking down at my bowl and looking at uh the freckles on my pop tart so um once again welcome to the channel if you're new um if you're not new an og like i know some of you are uh i appreciate you as always i love you welcome back to Chill chilligan's island uh and make sure you stay tuned for next episode uh we're doing these weekly because i'm definitely not missing one of these as long as i'm I have access to my computer and the internet. I'm watching these episodes and getting them out to you as soon as I can. So I appreciate you guys. I love you guys. Uh, tell me your thoughts on this episode. I can't imagine this not being everybody's favorite episode. But if it's not, tell me which one is and uh, why. But once again, appreciate you guys. I'll catch you in the next one. Deuces, X-Men 97. Let's go.